ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आर टॉपिक इज द प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द मेकानिज्म ऑफ प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस द ड्रग्स ओके सो फर्स्ट इज व्हाट इज प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन सो प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन आर द बायोलॉजिकली एक्टिव डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी कार्बोन एटम पॉली अनसेचुरेटेड सेचुरेटेड इजेंशियल फैटी एसिड्स ओके दिस आर द डेफिनेशन दिस इज द डेफिनेशन एंड दिस इज रिलीज फ्रॉम द रिलीज फ्रॉम द फॉस्पोलिफिट लेयर मेमब्रेन फॉस्पोलिफिट ओके मेमब्रेन फॉस्पो लिपिड सो दिस आर द फॉस्पो लिपिड बाई लेयर यू कैन सी हेयर ओके सो दे रिलीज इज द प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन ओके नाउ सी द टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन एंड सिंथेसिस पाथवे सो हेयर यू कैन सी मेमब्रेन फॉस्पो लिपिड हुई फॉर्म्स द फॉस्पो लाइफ इज ए टू देन इट्स ट्रांसफर टू एराकिडोनिक एसिड ओके then it goes two pathway first one is cyclooxygenase and the lipoxygenase so it, like in lipoxygenase pathway it forms the leukotrienes okay but in cyclooxygenase pathway it for produce various prostaglandins so here you can see prostaglandin i2 d2 e2 e2 alpha and thromboxane 2 so let's see the mechanism of one by one so i2 mainly does do the platelet aggregator okay so they are platelet aggregator next is d2 so d2 works by various receptor and shows various mechanism so first is receptor dp2 dp1 okay so in dp1 they shows bronco dilation dilatation okay bronco dilatation and vasodilatation This is DP one A receptor and DP two first then shows the TP receptor. In TP receptor they show bronco constriction. Okay. So here they are producing asthma, but here they do not producing asthma. So in an TP receptor, sorry, and DP two receptor they show chemotaxis. Okay, of T helper two cells, eosinophils and vasophils. This is D two. E two does the E two is uterine muscle. Sorry, uterine and smooth muscle contraction. Okay. and e2 alpha is uterine and bronco bronchiolar smooth muscle contractor okay and thrombox in e2 is platelet aggregator so now see drugs one by one and then aggregator we will see also the mechanism of action of every drug so they are all the prostaglandin analog okay so first one is the pg1 analog so they are misoprostol and what alprostadil okay misoprostol and alprostadil so misoprostol helps to treatment of ns it is induced Ulcers, okay. So they mainly protect the gastric mucosa. Next is alprostadil. Alprostadil maintains patency of ductus arteriosus, okay, and also causes the vasodilation. So important smell where the erection of the penis does not occur. So here. that drug is applied on the importance 
males okay next is dinoproston okay so dinoproston can be used for the cervical ripening cervical ripening is a stage of pregnancy where the cervix gets dilated okay dilated and pge2 is helps in the contraction of the uterine smooth muscle so we can use contraction of uterine smooth muscle so we can use dinoproston for the cervical ripening okay next is the pge2 alpha analog so they are carboprost and latinoprost carboprost used as used as abortifacient okay and latinoprost is used to treat the glaucoma so in decrease the intraocular pressure next is pgi2 pgi2 analog is apoprostenol okay apoprostenol is used as platelet stabilizer platelet stabilizer and vasodilator okay so vasodilator also so use can we we can use it pulmonary hypertension okay so that's it for the plus tag ending hope you like this video if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel